So I wanna talk about enjoying art versus being entertained by art. Mainly gonna be talking about films and movies and TV, but you can also think about music, uh, photography, digital art, painting, whatever. So when we enjoy something, I think there's a key difference of connection to the art itself. So between you and the art, there is a connection that is made, a resonance that doesn't happen when you're just being entertained by something. Being entertained is a fun distraction. So when you look at the definition of the word entertained, some of the synonyms that you'll find are leisure, relaxation, distraction, fun. And when you look at the definition of enjoyment, some of the synonyms that will show up in that definition are pleasure, comfort, gratification, delight, appreciation. So I handpicked those synonyms, by the way, just because they really stood out to me in the topic that we're looking at today, which is differentiating enjoyment versus entertainment. So for me, I want my films to be enjoyed rather than just entertain someone. And we'll continue unpacking enjoyment versus entertainment as this goes on. But I want I want them to be thoroughly appreciated. I want it to envelop the viewer of the film. I want it to be encapsulating rather than just put on the living room TV while you're busy in the kitchen, right? So I'm not very different in wanting my art to be experienced this way. In fact, we're all trying to make a voice, make a name for ourselves and build a platform for ourselves. We're all trying to build an audience to showcase our voice on what we have to say and what we're about. So I'm not unlike anybody else by wanting my films, my art, to be fully enjoyed. And there's decisions that I'm going to make and will have to make where I have to decide, do I want to pick a platform where my film can be watched where it's typically a noisy place? Because if I want to totally encapsulate somebody, well, the best place is to get them in a theater room where you can't hit pause or there's no ads that come up and there's no there's no remote, you're just fully there and it's just gonna play in front of your face and you're just immersed in it. There's nothing else to look at. So that's of course a very ideal scenario, but in the digital world, I have to pick the right platform or make my own where that can be enjoyed. To enjoy something is to take pleasure in, to be immersed with and to appreciate. Think of it this way. It means much more to enjoy somebody's company than it does to be entertained by them. So consider the differences between these two sentences. I enjoy you as a person. You entertain me as a person. Uh, of course, depending on the context, that second one could actually be quite rude. You, enter you entertain me as a person. Like, oh boy, your, your life is just fun to watch. Of course, we, we have to consider that it's not always going to be an insult to say that someone is entertaining. Because if, especially if that is their desire, likewise in a film, it is not necessarily undesirable to be entertained by movies. Namely when, that's mo namely when that movie's desire is to be entertaining, like a comedy or something. But of course that can blur the lines a little bit too because are you not enjoying the entertainment? <laughs> so it all comes down to the goals of the art. You know, you think about music. I've listened to songs where I am just fully immersed and I'm all I can think about are the, the lyrics of the song and the heart behind it. And it's just, it just does something to me inside. And there's other music that it doesn't do that for me, of course, but what's, what's key here is that I still leave that music on and I'll still play it, even though it doesn't, isn't doing the same thing for me internally. And maybe it's helping me focus. Maybe I really like the, the background entertainment aspect of it that it brings me. So I'm not fully immersed with the song, but it's it's this background entertainment that is just like those synonyms we looked at earlier. It's, it's leisure, it's relaxation, it's a fun distraction. Whereas to enjoy something, to let it be your focus and to have a connection made between you and it, it being the art form, whether that's a movie, a, a series, a photograph, or whatever. So to continue with the topic of things that just entertain us, and that we actively want it to entertain us, there's times when I'm I'm trying out a show that I think I'm going to really like, and it turns out that it just doesn't have me hooked. It just, it's not really doing it for me. But I still leave it on, and I'm still watching it. And the reason I'm, I'm not just skipping out of it is because I'm 
actively liking the entertainment aspect of it. There's, there's two sides of myself that I'm wanting to feed. There's a creative side and I'm wanting outside sources to influence that creative side of me. Sorry, I just bumped the mic. Um, I'm, I'm wanting to feed a creative side. And so when I'm watching a show that doesn't really do it for me and it's not really uh, feeding this creative hunger, sometimes I still leave that show or that movie or that song on and I let it continue playing because I'm listening to my body and realizing maybe I just need to turn off my brain, turn off the the creative hunger, turn off the objective and the subjective sides of my mind and just just be there, just relax, enjoy the leisure and the fun distraction that this piece of art is doing for me. And I think we know intuitively when that is, when we are fully immersed in something, when we're thoroughly enjoying it versus just having it be entertainment while we eat dinner or while we clean the house or do some other activity while we're on our phone <laughs> or whatever it is that we're doing. Uh, we're just gonna let that continue playing on. Why do I try to talk when I have nothing to say? So I'm curious how, how you, how do you differentiate? between enjoyment versus entertainment? Do you see them as the same? Do you see that there's too much overlap and that you can't really differentiate between the words? How do you experience art? How do you experience art differently from one thing to the next? Is it always the same? Do you take in and do you consume all art the same? Or maybe all mediums of an art the same? For instance, every time I listen to a music, this is pretty much what's going on through my head. This is pretty much how I'm experiencing it. Uh, versus movies or series, this is pretty much how I always experience movies, no matter what. Because I have friends who th their their mind goes to a place where it's always the same, whether it's very critical or where it's just like, hey, I'm just going to enjoy this. Like, I don't even care. I'm going to have the best time. Even if this movie isn't great, I'm just going to have an awesome time. So for me, I'm explaining that it's different. And I'm wondering if it's the same for you, where sometimes I'm I'm enjoying something and I'm like fully immersed in it and I'm, I'm, I'm there, I'm captivated by it. And other times where it's, it's mere entertainment, where I'm sort of paying attention, but it's bringing me that same utility, whether I was really paying attention or not, just because it's just something that's on and it's just kind of giving my brain an excuse to turn off and just soak in the moment of, of relaxing and enjoying the distraction. <laughs> So yeah, let, let, I'm, I really do want to hear like different perspective on this because obviously this is just my way of thinking about this topic that I haven't really seen discussed before. I didn't see somebody else talk about it and I want to talk about it. I was just like, hmm, entertainment versus enjoyment. Is there a difference? So I'm curious your experience with art, whatever the medium, how do, how do you differentiate and distinguish between those two? How do you experience art? Like, is it is it all the same? But yeah, so let me know in a in a in a comment or wherever you're seeing this your thoughts on this topic because I'm curious if I can kind of expand. I want to expand my way of thinking around this. I don't want to hear if you're like, yeah, me too. Like, and that's fine if you if you agree with to everything that I said and, and that's you. Like, I also want to hear that because it's like, oh, okay, so I'm not alone in thinking this. But mainly, if if you experience it differently, I want to expand my way of thinking on this topic. So I hope you enjoyed this. And I hope it was entertaining. <laughs> and I, I hope that you got something out of it. I hope you liked, I hope you enjoyed the, the headspace that it put you in, the way it made you think about how you consume things. And I hope it makes you appreciate how you personally consume different mediums of art. Um, yeah, I, I, wanna I wanna grow your appreciation for specifically the art of filmmaking, but I mean, if I can do that for other mediums as well, sure. My my goal here is to like show you a little bit behind the, the psychology, the philosophy, the objective and the subjective behind what goes into filmmaking. I want to share all kinds of thoughts and thought processes about this kind of stuff. So this is just a little peek into my brain, what I've been thinking about. So I hope you hope you enjoyed it. So I hope you, so I hope you enjoyed my my monologue here. But I also want to create a dialogue here and see if I can chat with you in the de, in the description. Oh my gosh, you don't chat in the description. Okay, so I'm going to end this video right now. I'm gonna end it right 
なあ。